Hey everybody and welcome to a very special RCT announcement. Uh, if you follow any other channels on Roller Coaster Tycoon, you have most likely already seen this because it has been out since Sunday, uh, but I'm just getting around to recording this video here and I think it's worth talking about because everybody should know about this if they don't already know. So OpenRCT2 revolutionized the game back when uh, the developers started working on this open source version of the original 2002 game. Well, as of Sunday night, we have the new save format. So if you save a park right uh, now with the existing um, release uh, version, you're going to get a .sv6 file. If you save on the developed version now, which is carrying the new save format, it's going to be a .park. And this comes with a whole host of exciting new changes. So this is uh, one of my parks. This is my latest solo park. This is uh, Washusan Park Rainbow Summit. Uh, we're gonna do an inside look on this one here in um, a few weeks, hopefully. But when I finished this park back in January of this year, it was at the object limit. So this is 175 map with some black tiles in here. So we can uh, kind of see that um, there's a fair bit of uh, land, but we were up against the object limit. We had used all the available objects. All the limits have now been increased, every single limit, and it has been increased in some cases in spectacular fashion. If we go take a look at our limits here up top, we can see that my map elements, which was previously up against the object limit, here is 113 or 1,131,000, 995. Now we are at over 16.7 million objects. So I can keep going for quite a while. I can recreate half of Japan at this rate. What's cool too is as we get beyond that, you can see this is a 175 map. So what we've found is that we can start expanding. And actually, let's go ahead and mark over here because I did use a black tile palette so you can't quite see, but let's... uh. I'll go ahead and get our edge condition over here. And then we can kind of see how big this can get. Get ourselves a nice green square here. So previously, you could go up to 254. So right here, that was as big of a map as you could get. Now, I'm gonna keep on going and going and going. And what you'll see, and we'll keep this going for a sense of scale here, is that you can now increase the map size to 999 by 999 tiles. So an absolutely gigantic map. In addition to that, uh, we have all sorts of new limits. So previously we could have 200 or 31 trains per coaster or per ride. Now we can go up to 255 trains. Uh, guest spawn points on the map edge, we used to be able to only have two. Now there's 256. Rides can have 255 stations. And what's exciting for me is uh, in the object forms. So uh, before you used to be able to select 252 small objects. Now we're up to 2047 small objects. Also large objects, wall types, ride types. So you can pretty much select every single ride out there. Now there are 255 combined path types, 255 banner objects, 255 path addition objects like benches and landscape and or uh, light poles and uh, trash cans and all that sort of thing. Um, we talked about the 16.7 million tile elements, 65,535 sprites, and a full 1,000 rides in a park. We've gone through all those and our map is still getting bigger. So we're at 850. 50 tiles now, nearly getting there. But there's a lot of exciting features that are going to be really cool to see. Now, certainly some of the object slots could eventually fill up perhaps, and the map size, maybe with some negative space we may fill up. Performance becomes an issue now, where it didn't used to be that way. Um, your computer is going to be chugging if you try and fill something this size. 
You can see we're already down to six frames per second, but here we are, uh, 998 square map. The whole of this space compared to what was a pretty gigantic park, 175 squares. Absolutely crazy to think that we're now to this size. So what's exciting about this, and we can look at our scenery selector tool, is you can see all these new items here, 2047, so we can select pretty much everything. But there's a couple of new interesting options here. So we have our path tiles here, which are legacy, but now over here we have our path tiles, which let us select not only the path tile, and these will get filled in too as we get more custom paths, and also a side type. So this goes back to RCT1, where this was an option, but you can see where, let's get a couple more of these. You can select your path or queue, and then also your path type. So pretty exciting format here now where we've got a bunch of different options for um, what we can select. And so very, very cool to see the uh, that brought back because there's going to offer a lot of new interesting options here. You can see those. A uh, couple where we have the uh, kind of slat, the wood slats, the standard kind of wood boardwalk, space style. All of those can go with any one of our uh, standard path units. Um, so kind of neat to see how, how all that goes. Um, we need to own this side of the park to do that. There we go. Own all land. I already see we're freaking out a little bit at the size of park, but that's okay. So a couple other things that we've got here. Your terrain edges and terrain surfaces, if you have the RCT1 installed, you will be able to select all of those surfaces from RCT1 and also the terrain edges. Uh, also, music is now set up in the dot .park object uh, option. So before we had dat files, dot .dat, for all of our objects, and uh, that was also uh, music and other things like that that were in the data files. Now they're going to be something called park object dot p a r k o b j, and that means that there are no longer two custom music options. We can have endless custom music options, and we can select up to two hundred fifty five of them. So that's going to offer more exciting options here as we can further build out and do new things with those. Beyond that, the new save format is eventually going to allow us to do even more things with the right folks who know how to develop. We're going to be able to offer potentially new track pieces, new track types entirely, and all sorts of other pretty exciting stuff. Um, this just scratches the surface of what can happen. And when I say I'm excited, this is something that I've been waiting for for multiple years now. And for a while, I wasn't ever sure it was coming. It was one of those kind of off in the in the future sort of things that always seemed maybe a little bit too good to be true. But we are here now, and now is the future, and I am scrolling for quite a while to even get back to my park. So there's a lot of space to build. Don't go overboard. Make sure you can finish whatever you're building, because at 999 tiles, we're going to be going for a long, long while now if we want to fill up that whole space. Um, but if you would like to get this and you don't already have it, you're going to need OpenRCT2, uh, which I will provide a link to in the download or in the description below. Um, and then you'll need the latest format or the latest save, and you're going to need to be using the develop version. There's two develop, there's a develop version and a release version. Uh, you need to be on the develop version for this uh, to work. Now, once you have a .park park file, you won't be able to open that on release any longer. So this is a one way uh, thing, but you will still be able to open any old .sv6 file, also any .sv4 RCT1 file. Uh, so that's kind of a fun feature as well. Um, but just keep in mind that uh, this is sort of the way that uh, we'll be headed here soon. So if you can't open a park for whatever reason, you better check and make sure what the extension is, make sure you're using the developed version. I recommend using the launcher to open your game. 
because that will automatically uh, download each of the newest versions and install them automatically. So that's what I've been using here for, for mine, and uh, I would recommend uh, you all do the same. But that's it for today. Really exciting news. Hopefully you'll check it out and uh, have fun building with it. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting into some of these larger parks again, too. Uh, so until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Happy building, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.